I love Reddit, but when you become the world's 19th most trafficked site, you can't keep running yourself like a mid-2000s message board. Welcome to the internet, we also have porn, has never not been true. But when the more illegal varieties are brazenly shared on your multi-billion dollar website, it's either because you want it to be there or you just don't care. You may have heard of Amy Challoner, a pedophilia enabler who used her powers as admin to permaban any user that typed her name. This kind of ban wave abuse from admins and mods wasn't unusual, but her proximity to children was just so clearly dangerous the greater part of Reddit couldn't help but mobilize. Hundreds of subs went private in protest, and many users donated to child protection orgs, and eventually Reddit caved and fired her. It really was a great showing for the community. But unfortunately, I think people have a tendency to want an ending to a story. They want something to be over, they want a conclusion. But people don't stop being predators just because they lose their job. And Amy clearly had friends at Reddit. A bunch of her crew just transferred their administrator privileges to alt accounts, and well, a few of the most prolific and obvious ones got caught, many more slipped through the cracks. And I know this because Reddit still has a huge problem with illicit images of children. It is pervasive throughout the site, and it is incredibly easy to access. And I'm going to tell you how, because honestly I have no idea how else to try and stop it. Regular reporting isn't working for a variety of reasons, including their garbage moderation system, which I'll have to get to later. Originally, this video was about the more generally hateful content on the site, and how selective they are with enforcing the rules. Remember when they did that big hate speech blitz? Reduced Trump jokes by 90% or some equally nebulous metric? I need to bring it up, because immediately under the admin's triumphant post, the user brought up the fact that two subs, both dedicated to explicitly illegal sex acts, hadn't been banned. And if you think 300,000 people searching for explicitly non-consensual strangulation videos should have at the very least had made their list, you'd be right. They removed both those subs, once the comment, of course, reached a required amount of upvotes, and then proceeded to do absolutely nothing else. Reddit has become a site where you're more likely to get banned for making a rape joke in a big sub than actually talking about rape. Because the only thing Reddit gives half a shit about is optics. So Steve, uh, at the end of June, you banned about 2,000 different communities, including the Donald. A number of these communities have been accused of really fomenting racism and hate speech, violent comments for so long. Why did you wait until now to make these moves and ban them? So we've updated our content policy um, probably a dozen times to prohibit um, all sorts of behaviors around violence, harassing, and bullying. You know, really contemplating our values as a company and where the, the gaps between our values are and our own content policy. And so um, we wanted to make it explicitly clear about, you know, what behaviors and what sort of content are prohibited on Reddit, uh, thus, you know, precipitating the change. Which brings us to telecom subs, places to post porn links, many of which contain images of children. They're rapidly created, and Reddit takes months to delete them. But under the not-safe-for-work umbrella, it seems to be no real moderation from paid Reddit staff. Even in the more moderated communities, illicit material is constantly being shared. When it says report for CP, that means they're reporting a post or a link that has images of children. Not that it's doing anything. Reports don't seem to work that well here, and almost no content gets removed. And this is doubly true for the larger subs, which don't seem to have any moderation at all. Or at least, they don't seem to have moderators interested in actually moderating. You see, individual subs are run by volunteer moderators, who, I stress, can be literally anyone. The power in that job is on a seniority basis, so first come, first serve, and whatever you want, goes. Rule enforcement varies greatly from sub to sub, but communication with users and mods is always one-sided. If a user wants to appeal a mod's decision to leave links up, they have to go to admins and go around to paid employees of Reddit. This requires going through a complicated and lengthy computer bot that really, really doesn't want you to talk to a real person. And thanks to Reddit's stellar reporting system, it can take weeks for reports to reach an actual person. And if you get a sympathetic admin like Amy, 
she could just dismiss your report for literally no reason. There's no way to appeal a ticket. And a lot of these subs have become invite-only, which means it's an insulated community of people sharing really whatever they want. Reddit is allowing this to exist on its platform, and unless we can get another r slash jailbait Anderson Cooper expose situation going, I honestly don't see anything changing. People have been reporting these subs for months, and nothing has happened. Their system is so ineffective at removing child pornography, a lawsuit has been filed by a woman whose images were regularly posted and reposted on over 36 different subreddits that she knows of by an ex-boyfriend whose account Reddit won't even ban. It's almost like allowing pedophiles to self-moderate and offering no checks to ensure administrators don't protect this behavior doesn't work. Reddit will try to sweep this under the rug like they always do. Nobody is talking about this because nobody even really knows it's happening. At least nobody but the victims and the perpetrators. Victims need to be protected, and the moderation of sexually explicit subs needs to change. Please just let Reddit know that you know, because that's the only way they'll ever actually do anything about it. You know, which, you know, how do we evolve our policies to advance our mission? Which is to bring community and belonging to everybody in the world, to make Reddit a welcoming place for everybody.